Hey, what is up dudes and dudettes? This is Shane, back with Movie Talk. We're bringing it back, but here not much professionalism. Just enough, but just here to give my opinion and hopefully hear yours too. But what I'm here to talk about is obviously some minor news. But Ben Affleck has been cast as the new Batman. So I was up watching Breaking Bad Thursday at half five in the morning, like you do. But I usually type Superman Batman news into Google on the regular. But when I did at that time, the feed was blowing up with Affleck's name. And not just casting rumors, but him being confirmed for the role. Now, he wasn't my first choice, but my personal favorites were Jensen Ackles, Guy Pearce, Scott Atkins, if he were a better actor, Jeffrey Dean Morgan, and if he wasn't doing Wolverine, Hugh Jackman. Now, like I said, he wasn't my first choice. And I wasn't upset when I got the news. I was trying to wrap my head around the idea, thinking about it over and over, and Ben Affleck now to me, is the best choice for Batman that nobody chose. Now, I'm going to defend Ben Affleck because, for one, I am a fan of his. But not only that, it's people like me and people like you who are so past tense, even though I do believe in Ben Affleck. But has Ben Affleck made some bad movies? Yes, Geely. And, of course, Daredevil is the major one people are referencing his acting ability on, especially in a superhero environment. But honestly, I didn't think Daredevil was all that bad. I thought Colin Farrell was a hilarious villain with his more peanuts, please. And the fight choreography in that film was superb. A lot better than what we got from the Dark Knight trilogy. Now, don't eat my face. I'll get back to that in just a second. But with Ben Affleck now and behind the director's chair, this is the best he has been in his career. He was good in Argo. He was amazing in the town. He played a very gritty, dark character with emotional depth which I believe will work well when being Bruce Wayne and Batman. And to this day, one of my favorite movies from him is Changing Lanes, a fantastic film, if you guys have not seen. Now, also, Ben Affleck now is a beast. He is a ripped dude. He is a lot more ripped than Christian Bale, and he's a lot taller, so this will be the tallest Batman we're ever going to have. And most importantly, he is a very talented actor, but that is my opinion. If you do not think so, that is yours, and you're going to stick to it, and that's fine. But I think the chemistry between himself and Cavill will be fantastic and believable on and off screen, I hope. Now back to the Dark Knight trilogy. I watched it more for the storytelling, more than for the fighting. And the trilogy is up there as my favourite trilogy of all time. But at the same time, there will always be comparisons to the previous Batman or Batman. And people are afraid of change. Like for instance, when Daniel Craig was cast as Bond, people hated New Directions getting away from the over-the-top gadgets and of course the new actor before they had seen anything now casino royale is still my favorite bond ever but overall the trilogy he's done has changed a lot of minds and he and the franchise are just as successful as they've ever been same with the joker heat ledger rest in peace i was a big fan of his before and when he was cast as joker i was surprised i didn't know how they were going to make that work but I kept an open mind, but again, people were furious with the casting. A little to do with Jack Nicholson's Joker, but with him being a pretty face and other movies he has done in the past that didn't do as well. And of course, the comedians of the internet. What? They're getting broke back mountain? This is stupid. Meh. I'll never watch it. That was my internet troll voice. And of course, when the movie was released, he changed a lot of people's minds also. And with that being said, he's one of the greatest villains of our generation, alongside Loki, of course. And even Michael Keaton, Batman himself, when he was cast as Batman. Same point. What I'm trying to make... The point I'm trying to make here is to hold judgment till you actually see something from him as the character. You know, this is a billion dollar project. Possibly even two billion if marketed correctly. Warner Brothers loves Affleck. He's made them some good money in the past. And he's going to do the same this time around as well as... Goyer, Schneider, and Nolan, they must have faith in him. Otherwise, we wouldn't be here where we are now. So whether you like it or not, it is happening. Embrace change and hold the criticism till you actually see something to critique. Also for Man of Steel, the role of Lex Luthor, which I think should be bigger news right now, since the casting for Batman is done, I think should go to either Brian Cranston, Mark Strong, or even Bradley Cooper, I think would be brilliant choices in my opinion. I know you're ready to type, oh, you idiot, clearly you know nothing. Look at Jon Snow over here. And like I said, embrace change. And here we go for Batfleck 2015, <laughs> yeah. 
But let me know your opinions. He signed out for multiple films, so we're going to be seeing him for quite a bit. And with that being said, thanks for watching. I hope you did enjoy. Let me know your thoughts, and I will see you next time. Deuces.